And there was a lot of signature by number 14. for Josh Ashby over the free kick to high line from Worthing but well, everyone really up from the back clip forward looking for Carroll Carroll heads across goal Lewis Michio he's he scored Lewis Michio opens the scoring for Oxford City a brilliant strike against from Mail a big moment in this match he scores Josh Parker gives City a 2-0 lead in this playoff clash. And there's daylight between them. He takes it a little bit slower as there's more players back. But Lolos beats his man brilliantly. He's got Parker to his left, no real other options. Comes back on himself. McEachran, he's got Ashby to his right. City have done well to create a chance here. McEachran! It's three for Oxford City and that...
offside to Ashby, and that's an effort, and that's off the post, and it's tapped in by Alfie Potter. Visitors take the lead. Corner, taken quickly. McEachran! He scored again! And against the run of play, Oxford City have stunned Farnborough. 1-0. Ball forward, looking for Williams Bichel. Sorry, Burley. Here's Williams Bichel. Good ball into the area. Chanter does! His first goal for City! Looked like a stonewall penalty, not given. Then Braintree took the lead against the run of play through Southampton, Loney, Jack Turner. City did equalise through Will Dawes. But meanwhile, here's Josh Parker. He's right far down into the far channel into Ashby, Ashby on the edge of the box, finds McEachran, he just helps it onto Potter on the left, ball into Ashby again, into the middle, to McEachran, they've done it! Oxford City have salvaged a goal here, it's... and Bichel are up from the back for City. Josh Ashby floated in, it's a goal! After just two minutes, Will... City a bit of against the run of play, really. Uh, Ashby swings it in, it's going to be headed away out of the penalty area. And, uh, lateral, Humphrey Ewers is chasing and tearing that one down. And, uh, not quite sure what the home fans are worried about there. A little chip Great in the penalty ball. area now, there's an opportunity for Oxford City, they've scored! The substitute, Ollie's getting really scrappy in this game. Bichel, neat little turn away from Porter. A neat one two with Dawes finds its way to Lolos, who will release the on running Williams Bichel down the right wing. Lolos turns inside the box. Lolos! What a goal from Claudi Lolos, who equalises! The Albanian striker has City back in this game out of nothing. Turns inside the box, back to goal, has the space to turn and fire an effort past Aaron Jones. Such a low sense of gravity just to keep floating forward almost and he carries on floating and Lolas, it's 1-0! Brilliant goal from Oxford City, in truth it's been coming and it's... ...will have a free header which Hines will help on but only as far as Humphrey Ewers. Ashby again down the right channel. Brilliant chip towards the back post for Jack Davies! It's two for City, and once again, it's been coming. Brilliant header from half partner, but it's picked up upon by Ashby. Stays on his feet, finds McEachern. Freddy through ball to Clardy Lolas. It's as easy as that for Clardy Lolas, his second of the game. Ball on the spot, Henley just doing his best to put him off, doing side steps across the the, the touchline, referee blows his whistle. Low loss against Henley, scores! It's a hat-trick for Clardy Low loss. It's Josh Ashby, who's not taken a penalty for City in a while. He'll face Beach. Ashby against Beach. Steps up, sends him the wrong way, and we're level again at the Raw Charging Stadium. Great. On the corner, looking for Trotter. That's just a little bit too little on that. It's Potter plays in McEachran. He'll burst forward and if he can make this right. McEachran! What a goal from Zach McEachran! Out of nowhere! City have taken the lead of the Raw Charging Stadium. But for Livy's ball is pounced upon. Potter into the path of McEachran. Great ball from McEachran to Ashby. Brilliant ball from Ashby. Now Sanderson's in here if he can play his cards right. Sanderson! It's three for Oxford City, and out of nothing.
over ahead. And Ashby finds McEachran, who's got a little bit of space on the outside of the area. McEachran helps it on to Alfie Potter! It's a goal for City! And what a massive goal it could be! It's the former Havant man, Alfie Potter, who has put City ahead with under 10 minutes to go. Okay, and it's uh, with uh, City again, McEachran, McEachran! And Zach McEachran has put up for City in front. The first goal of the game, out of nowhere really, on the edge of the penalty area. And Zach McEachran has nestled the ball into the bottom left-hand corner. He wasn't doing that early on in the game, but meanwhile, brilliantly taken down from Parker. He just takes Hague's lofted ball, just brings it down with his chest and now plays another brilliant ball into McEachran on the edge of the area, looks for a space to shoot carries on going, moves a little bit wide so he'll cross it instead to the back post and it's met to Potter and City do have a two goal lead Alfie Potter makes it two for it's Potter McEachran looking to turn there's Fleet skipper and what a start for Ross Jenkins Oxford City Zach McEachran very much involved and Reese Fleet tucked it away very nicely indeed sorry for their goalkeeper uh, St Albans Dylan Berry St Albans his hometown oh he's lost it straight to McEachran for Dylan Berry, the boyhood St Albans fan who made a wonderful save a moment or two earlier from Zach McEachran. But McEachran couldn't miss when handed another opportunity just moments later. It's a howler from goalkeeper Berry. Oxford City though enjoying and savouring every moment. Yeah, you've got a feel for the goalkeeper here. Takes his eye off the ball, doesn't he? Pressurised by Parker, and the last person you want it to fall to is that man, Zach McEachern. Made an outstanding save just before this as well. And there he just gets caught on the ball, and it's a little drop of the shoulder and a little tap in from, from Zach. Well, we said he was a likely match winner, McEachern. And we expected it would be quite in that manner. Ashby. Zach McEachran surrounded by yellow shirts. McEachran again. Ashby! That's the way. And Oxford City may well have won this inside 31 minutes. They are making very light work of the biggest game in their club's history. Josh Ashby with the latest goal and apparently Kevin a unassailable lead in a little over half an hour. Yeah, brilliant football once again from Oxford City. It's that man Zach McEachern. See, he just rolls. It's just a weighted pass again, not too distant to the, the first goal we saw. It's so hard to get to. It's a little flick of the right foot there. And what a calm, composed finish that is from Ashby. Again, a little touch there, opens his body up, he just bends it this time, no chance for Dylan Berry. A wonderful goal, Oxford City 3-0. Hard work to come back from here now. Club is all about, give their all when they're down on the pitch. Here's Parker, looking for a fourth, maybe Oxford. Parker, it is four! It's game over inside the first half. Josh Parker completes the first half of Oxford City's dreams and St Albans nightmares. 4-0 the scoreline before the break in the National League South promotion final. Agony 
once again for the Saints. There was yeah. nothing they could do here. It's a great play, isn't it? Humphrey Ewers does really well. And you talk, you're talking about experience there, Dan. And Francis Clark just gets done there by the experience of Parker. It's just a little chop inside. And then, does he have the composure to just place this one in the bottom course? Yes, he does. And it's a wonderful finish from, from Josh Parker. I was just about to say, the only thing he's not done in this first half is score the goal. And he's got his goal now. It's a brilliant finish. The first half ending as it began. Goal mouth action and Oxford City filling their boots up.